What questions? You just ask whatever question you want to ask. Okay. But basically, I, I just want to talk about this uh, this bond that John had passed to, to renovate the, the Prospect School, and they're saying it's going to cost. 18, 18, a little over $18 million, and it's not going to be of any uh, uh, money out of pocket for the taxpayers. So how, how can they say that? Okay, first and foremost, it's impossible to, to uh, float and pass a bond and taxes not go up. Because the word bond means hope. You hope you get the state money to pay that bond back. And to pay that bond back, you have to raise taxes. Um, the governor that's coming in is making cuts and the state doesn't see any significant funds coming to the village of Hempstead. And a bond is a loan that they're going to take, try to take, and pay this money back. The XL money is there. Um, I know because I sit on the renovation board for Prospect School. And the $18,135.84 is not the total cost. Because what everybody's forgetting when it comes to Prospect School is, the reason Prospect School is closed is because of asbestos. And if you ask anybody how much it'll cost to clean it up, they can't tell you until they get started. Prospect School being renovated means you're going to have contractors come in, you're going to be shaking up the walls, you're going to be shaking up the asbestos. The cleanup crew for the asbestos is a whole nother deal. That can be $50,000, $100,000, a million dollars. It's whatever it is because it has to be cleaned up. Prospect School was not shut down because of structural damage. It was shut down because of asbestos that the school district paid tens of thousands of dollars to have cleaned up and it, and it never happened. Now, in the pursuing years, Prospect has gotten worse and worse and worse because it's been closed. It's not being maintained. So the building needs to be completely torn down. But what I had suggested was that they try to um, seek historical status with Prospect School because I think Thurgood Marshall went there and uh, made a speech, you know, way before my time, but he made a speech there so maybe they could try to uh, seek historical status. But to say 18 million total cost, that's erroneous. That's extra money that the school district is trying to get because you cannot put a price on what it would cost to do prospect school. Because nowhere in any of the plans that I saw did it take into consideration the asbestos cleanup in the school, and that's what's most important. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, did they submit documentation to support the work that they say that needs to be done in this building. Is this is there paperwork submitted? How come or uh, is uh, are we allowed to see the documents that have been submitted to support um, the work that, that they want to do? Yes. What 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 most people don't understand of the XL money, I think it was four million dollars. There's a time frame on using this money. Now they're saying we'll give you X amount of dollars to renovate the school. Now, I came in late. I can't say if the uh, state came and went through prospect because everything is an estimate. Everything is an estimate. It's like having a paper that's 100 years old and you're at it and it's folded. And then you go to open that paper and then it breaks apart. That's the way prospect school is because you can only estimate right. what it might be. Because once you start messing with those walls and that asbestos becomes airborne, now you're expensive. You have two different expenses. Contractor has nothing to do with that. You gotta got an outside company to come in there and clean up that asbestos. Okay, so now if the costs go over the 18 million, then who is responsible to pay those costs? And will this uh, bond, it may not affect the taxes of the homeowners this year, but what is to happen in the years to come? Will it affect it? Late? Will it affect taxes later on down the line? Of course, of course it will. You won't see it in the first year because it'll take a year or two for construction to begin and, and complete it. But when it's all said and done, of course taxes are going up because the district is taking a loan. A loan. They're taking a loan on monies that they hope to be subsided and, and um, made up through the state. It's a loan. 
You know, I don't even like the word bond. I like the word loan, because that's what it is. And if the taxpayers okay that loan, the district is gonna have to pay that back, which most of the board members will be gone anyway. So you can't really blame them, because they'll be gone. And the incoming board members will have a problem, because taxes are going up. It's impossible for taxes to not go up. And at the community meeting, the assistant superintendent, Mr. Brown, uh, clearly told everybody taxes would not go up. And the assemblywoman contradicted everything he said right there, that yes, whether it's two dollars, three dollars, five, ten, taxes are going up. And I don't know how many times she said the word hope. You hope money's coming. So see, I gotta listen to the assemblywoman and I have to listen to Senator Kemp Hannon because these are the two people through the dormitory authority and through everything that gets us our money. The district, the school board can tell me anything, but when you talk to the two people, the two most powerfulest people in Nassau as far as our money, I gotta listen to them. And sitting on the board myself, they said it was an impact study done. I've been on the traffic safety board for the village of Hempstead 10 years. I was chairman three years. Nothing ever came across my desk about an impact study. I've been working for the town of Hempstead for 24 years. And I run traffic control for our signs and every, oh, everything. I spoke to one of the inspectors this morning, and he said there was never an impact study done with them. So who's doing this impact study? So Mr. Mr. Renfro did say that that wouldn't be an issue. And so what I'm hearing is that you're saying that is an issue because he said that there would be someone out there to help um, monitor traffic on Peninsula Boulevard. Someone out there to help monitor traffic. Um, he also reported that the vehicles would be coming in on the property, uh, the buses, as opposed to being out and uh, letting uh, pupils off on the street. Um, and then there would be a way in through the back. And I thought the church actually purchased that property in the back. How much property is there in the back? There's just a lot of questions, you know, that, that um, I believe that still need to be asked. And um, this thing to give the community such short notice as to what the plan is, you know, with no documentation, whether they submitted the documentation to um, the proper authorities, as you said, the dormitory authority, Kemp Hannon, whoever it is that they need to submit it to uh, upstate. Um, there were no attorneys at the meeting, you know, to substantiate um, any of the information that was being um, presented. Uh, which kind of um, confused me a little bit. I, I couldn't understand why they wouldn't have legal representation there in case they make a wrong statement or say a wrong thing. You know, um, the other thing I, I don't, I don't, I, you know, with no disrespect to those that are in leadership, but to state that you're going to um, sit down with 15 ministers on Friday a week before a budget or bond proposal um, and dispense the information to them without dispensing it to the community. Um, those that come out you know, and are concerned about possible tax uh, hikes uh, on their homes, you know, um, it behooves me that- see, see, the ministers, I don't understand what the big thing is with the ministers. Uh, there's been a separation of church and state for a long time. And the ministers or any other concerned person shows me their concern by being at the meeting. I, I haven't seen the 15 million ministers at a meeting with no disrespect to them, but presented to the community. I'll say this, you said that they don't you know, let the community know. They don't put it where the community can see, can see it, but they do put it out there that this is gonna be here. Where they put it, I don't know. Just like, as I said, I'm on the renovation committee for Prospect School. We haven't met in a while. I don't know why, but when it comes to plans and everything, they, they come through us. They come through us. The, the, the school district, the village of Hempstead, has been aware of this bond for at least the last two years that I know of. Because we had talked about it and we were doing uh, public forums until it was agreed that we stopped because we knew taxes that would go up because I'm not a financial genius, 
But I do know financial geniuses that sat down and went over the plan and said, there's no way, the taxes have to go up. Whether it's now or, or next year, they have to go up because, as I said, when you don't understand the word, you got to go to, to the dictionary and look it up. And the word bond transcends into the word loan, which transcends to the word hope. Like our assemblywoman, deputy speaker said, hope, you hope you get help with this. I mean, prospect school needs to be torn down completely. And as far as the impact study, if you don't go through the town of Hempstead, and if you don't go through the village of Hempstead, and you don't go through Nassau County, who's doing the impact? It's going to be a heck of an impact to open up Prospect School. You're talking about buses, cars, kids. And that's a traffic problem, especially on one of the worstest streets in the village of Hempstead, Peninsula Boulevard. I mean, the, the amount of traffic that comes down, and the, and the school is in between the stoplight. It's not at the stoplight. It's like just about in the middle of the block. You have a, a mini major shopping center right across the street. Matter of fact, I attended Prospect School. So I, I know the volume from being a student there and from doing traffic control, it, it's, it's gonna be a heck of an impact. You have to redo curbage. You have a, a senior citizen home next door. Now the ambulances are gonna have to reroute. Buses are gonna have to reroute. Traffic is gonna have to reroute. You're talking about a major traffic impact over there. A major traffic impact over there. Just, just with the um, senior extended living uh, facility next door. I mean, you have um, Home Depot, is it Home Depot? Uh, pep boys. boys. You got pep boys. You staples. got a whole. You got staples. You got a bank coming over there, and who knows what else is coming over there? Harbor Freight. You, what is it? Harbor Freight. That's the Harbor state. Freight is coming over. There. I mean, the impact is going to be tremendous. But the biggest impact that I really heard, haven't heard anybody discuss, is the asbestos. That's why Prospect School hasn't been open. I mean, I hate to take everybody back to a, to a few years ago when all the kids had on their new school clothes and all the parents took them to school and the doors were shut. They didn't even tell the parents, your kids can't come to school. Hundreds of kids on school opening day had nowhere to go. And this was because of asbestos. Let's, let's deal with the asbestos issue first. You want to renovate what? Let's, let's deal with the asbestos first. Let's see how much that's going to cost. Let's get a guaranteed estimate from a contractor that says, I don't care how much asbestos is in there, I'm going to charge you X amount of dollars. You won't get it. They won't do it. They won't do it. Asbestos is like a sewer bursting. Until you stop the water, you'll never know how much the cleanup is. And that's the same with the asbestos. Let's don't forget about the asbestos. Forget about a renovating prospect. Prospect has to be cleaned up first. It's a health hazard. This is why our kids are in trailers, because it's a health hazard. You know, I, I see on here the claim, a brighter future begins at Prospect. But where's the asbestos? It's nowhere on here. Even though most of the kids are 16, 17, maybe 20 years old since it's been, since Prospect is open, but I don't see any asbestos on here. They got it in Spanish and English, but there's no asbestos on here. That's, that's what the main concern is about. And at our next school board meeting, I will ask the board to explain asbestos at Prospect School. That's the problem.